Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Persona 5. Uh, last time Anne, um, awakened her Persona, so now we have her as an ally. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she kinda overdid it, and we had to, we had to leave the castle, we had to retreat. But I guess we're gonna give it another go, um, soon. I mean, we gotta do it before the next faculty meeting. Um, I assume we're probably gonna do it over the weekend. And then Morgana told us some um, some stuff about like making like infiltration items and stuff like that. Oh, also he's living with, or is it she? I'm pretty sure it's a he, even though his name is Morgana. But yeah, he's living with us now. Mm. After we clean up the room, but we're gonna go to sleep first. Mom. Go to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Keep together, all right? Alright, let's sleep. Are we gonna see Igor again? I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body. Is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me? Nah, that's a cat. That's Morgana. Nope, no Igor tonight. Even if it's crowded, it looks like you'd still grab a seat if you're lucky enough. Hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. Oh my god, I pressed square again. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? Cool. Is this the one set of a psychotic breakdown? What should I do? Am I gonna die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic, come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix that right up. Or fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? Yeah, so. So what? It might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now, we're in class. Yeah, Ryuji. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it is really sticking today. I know, right? Anyways, hideout after school? Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come over once school's over. Alright, gotcha. I'm gonna fine you if you're late. Hey, class! Oh, me, not the class. <laughs> You, pay attention, is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Ow! <laughs> he threw the chalk at me. Oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> he hit him right in the forehead. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. Good grief, looks like you need more for oh, excuse me, proficiency to completely dodge that. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Now then. Don't underestimate the dangers of that palace, we need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with them? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it, you'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? Glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. Hey. You talking about weapons? I know a kick-ass place. Okay. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady Anne. 
uh, I called her Lady Anne instead of Lady On. I don't know. On, Anne, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, whatever. Now then, Weapons and I have some business in Yongin, so let's head off for today. What business? Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. I've got a good idea. Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination? She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Where would she be? Oh, I think I see her. It's where that heart is. Yeah. Okay. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? I'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. Alright, let's step inside. Oh. Is this your first visit? Hmm, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. At LeBlanc. Hmm, well, whatever. So what are you doing here today? I feel lethargic. Fine. Head to the exam room. Really? In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm going to. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Hmm. Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine, anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? It doesn't matter to me. How about a stinky one then? Well, maybe it does matter, just a little. <laughs> just kidding, there's no such pill. Alright, why don't we stop beating around the bush? What does this mean? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, huh? Well, are they true? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. Really? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Ah, oh my god, I pressed square again. Well fine, I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine, you seem pretty earnest and you don't look like you'll be in any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Okay, that'll help. Yep. Great, it's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Save me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know. I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. That's fine. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. This is all I've got right now. Okay. Which one? Oh, okay, so this is where we buy items from. Alright. These restore HP. Fast second formula restores 50 HP. This restores 100 HP. These are pretty expensive. Medical ointment that cures burn, freeze, and shock. Topical balm for rage, despair, brainwash, fear, and confuse. Capsule that cures dizzy, forget, sleep, and yeah. Revive a fallen ally with 50% HP. Can only be used in safe places, restores 50% HP to all allies. Uh. You want that one? Yeah, we'll take one of these. Here you go. And we'll take one revive. Those are like in case of emergencies, though. And then we'll take these. Yeah, we'll take these. Well, we can only take two. Wow, these things are. Oh my god. Rest in peace, my wallet. Take care.
What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stomachache, athlete's foot? What is, whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this. You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it could give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug that will... A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. The police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <sighs> What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tai Takami... Takemi? Takami? Whatever. Will never... Alright, is somebody there? Nope, I was just leaving. Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. Sounded like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? Sure seems sketchy. Maybe, but it could have come in handy at the palace. Let's get that woman to cooperate with us. Alright, let's come back when that man isn't there. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? okay. Anyway, great work. They That really went well. You know there's a shop in Shibuya that sells model guns. I'd be glad to take you there if you want. Alright, sounds good. Sweet! Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, yeah? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, I got you. Don't worry, we got this. We'll see you in Shibuya, weapons. I'll be in front of the station. Might be able to get our hands some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real fun starts, got it? Hold on, why was he in a school uniform on a Saturday? Wait, I forgot, don't they go to school on Saturday? Let me Google it. I think they do go to school on Saturday over in Japan. Okay, I gave it a quick Google. Go oh my god. <laughs> go I gave it a quick Google search. Apparently, that used to be the case, and then they'd get like the second and fourth ones off, and I think it was lifted. But, I don't know. Maybe in this game they do go to school on Saturday. So Saturday was just a school day for these guys, huh? Shibuya. Oh, um, of course I've heard of it before, I just can't remember a time that I've been there. Alright, let's go to sleep. Okay. You're meeting up with Ryuji tomorrow, so don't oversleep. Sunday. Up? Looks like you made it. Let's go. Okay, let's get going. The shop's over this way. Whoa, you're fast. <laughs> Please consider what I have to say. Everyone, wake up! The country is twisted. This politician is actually saying some decent things, but not many people are stopping to listen. Yeah, people give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyway. We're almost there, just don't get lost in the crowd. Let's 
Follow me. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. This is it, pretty legit, huh? Oh yeah, now that we're here, you know anything about mil uh, military stuff? I guess worst comes to worst, we can just ask the shopkeeper what they recommend. Come on, let's go. Well, wouldn't these be real guns he's selling? Like, would he even sell that to us? Because we are, like, high school students, aren't we? All the stuff here looks so real, I don't know what I like best. Maybe we should try asking the guy behind the counter. And man, who would have thunk model guns would shoot real bullets in that palace? So these are all models he's selling. Okay. You know what you want yet? You're looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Hmm. Fine, what do you want? An automatic, a revolver? Mm -hmm. Automa automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? <sighs> Listen, this thing here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. What? I'm not a freaking casual, I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, huh, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Something that looks real. <laughs> oh, you guys planning a nice big bank robbery or something. Whoa. That ain't it. We just like how they look, it is all. <sighs> Anyways, you should have said before you... You two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keeping them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind if you're having them. I don't need them coming around here. Oh, like the feds. Okay. I thought he was actually talking about, like, animal fur or something. Yeah, we'll be careful. You damn well better be. Look. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though, if you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight, I'll bring them out. We did it, dude. <laughs> we totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? I want them to shine. I kinda spent all my money on the medicine. <laughs> oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Oh, he gave me 5,000 yen. I shouldn't have spent all my money on medicine. That might have been a mistake. Oh, we can buy melee weapons, range. Okay, so basically, all of our, like, weapons and armor. Okay. Okay. Well, I already have, like, a new dagger. Ryuji just has a rod, and Morgana has a sword. On has a whip. Now eh, let's buy a gun first. Or sh no, we really should buy a melee weapon first, because we're probably going to use that more often than the gun. Sounds good. Let's be smart here. Oh, that mace is expensive, though. I don't know about that. One. He sells the same band of sort that Morgana already has. Oh. Oh, no, it's not. They're not the same. <laughs> no, this is different. It has more attack power. Sounds good. Ons thing is expensive. Okay. Okay. What about armor? All right. Which one? All 
Can we sell stuff? We don't have anything to sell. Let's buy a gun. Sounds good. All right, which one? Sling bow. Sounds good. Okay. All right, which one? That's what you're choosing. Yep, I'll buy that for myself. And equip it. Uh, now we're $400 short. Oh, but I can just sell the old one right off the bat. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. Still need a hundred more to get something for Ryuji. This was my old knife, right? Pretty sure that was my old knife. I hope so. Sounds good. Don't have quite enough for that. <laughs> Pick me out something real nice. We don't really have enough money to get you a new gun, Ryuji. All right, which one? We can get a sling bow from Organa. Uh, let's probably we should get some armor. Maybe I don't know. Oh, these are like these are classified by gender, so male, unisex, male, and unisex. Okay, we'll get up some shoulder pads, I guess. Don't break it, okay? And we'll equip it. Come again. All right, now we're broke. Going home already? Anyways, I'll have you do the choosing from now on. Get me the strongest looking one. I kind of just got you some armor, Ryuji. You here? Apparently, that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. <sighs> There's no way a preposterous story like that could be true. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. Hmm, how rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of the store. Thanks for stopping. Please come again. Huh, <laughs> I only say this out of politeness, but thanks for the coffee. Sheesh, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. That was business. It doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Is that a motto of yours? Mm. No, it's nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it, but I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. <sighs> anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. So I went to see Shiho in the hospital. How is she? Her condition is stable. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness, though. Uh, that's kind of scary. Yeah. She'll get better, I know it. I hope so. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's going to pay for what he did, no matter what. Okay. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We'll just need to assemble some infil oh, infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Right. That desk, hurry it up and clean it now. Okay. Great, now you can make things whenever you want. 
Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. Well, then. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. With the necessary materials, you can make infiltration tools. These can be beneficial when exploring palaces, so be sure to try them out. Materials can be collected from defeated shadows in palaces and from shops in town. Try visiting different shops to see what items are in stock. Making tools will cause time to pass, but will improve your proficiency. As your proficiency grows, the amount of infiltration tools you can make at a time will increase, try using your, pro your proficiency to become more efficient. Don't think too hard about it, you'll get the hang of it. Alright, well we'll make a lockpick. Everyone starts off a little clumsy, don't be sad if it doesn't go well first, okay? What are your thoughts? Did you finish? Yep, got a lockpick. Hey! Great, we should be able to use this. Point up. Alright. Alright, proficiency improved. Okay. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning, come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Morning. That admirable oh, that admirable ugh, that admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. So I saw Kamashita at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with a shit-eating grin on his face. Uh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation, too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. Oh, okay, so it's not any time this week. It's gonna be next month. Or, well... Yeah. So you have a little time. Alright. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. Not going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. Okay. It's finally time to set the plan into motion. I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave the planning to you. You can now spend your time freely after school. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. Okay. It just says mission start on the board. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant and be aware of the time remaining. Places contain many, or sorry, palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure successful infiltration. Okay, let's go. Let's take Kamashita's Twisted Heart. By connecting online, you can check what actions other players choose to take at the same time on the same day. Press the touchpad button to see the activity log of other players. This feature will not affect the gameplay of the story. To turn this feature off, open the main menu by pressing the triangle button and select system and then entering config. Okay, most people just went straight to the palace. I'm not sure what else we can do though. Wait, I forgot, how do I- oh, square. Palace? What are we doing about the palace? Ain't we meeting up? If you don't know what to do, just let, let's just go. Well, what do you want to do? Should we meet up at the hideout and head into the palace? Uh... I don't know, I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. Aw oh, yeah, let's meet up at the hideout then. Let's give them hell.
I hope you'll understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamashita, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. Listen up. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble, I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamashita's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objection- our, oh, our objection. Our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Alright, you can now discuss your current operation at the hideout. Check your progress with the hold meeting option, listen to your friends' opinions and decide on the best course of action. Selecting Infiltrate Palace will take you to the palace. You cannot purchase items while in a palace, so be sure you're well prepared. It will be nighttime when you return from a palace. If time runs out, it's game over. Keep an eye on the time remaining. Okay. Hold a meeting. Damn it. We're gonna get expelled if we don't steal Kamashita's heart. This is do or die. Whoa, don't get too agitated. We still have some time. Okay, time for the meeting. Well, what now? Let's investigate first off. We need to figure out where he's hiding the treasure. It'd be great if we could do something about the shadows. Would it be better to try and not let them find us? You're all fighting relatively well at this point. Our team is steadily getting stronger. Okay. That's enough for now. Well, that's basically it, yeah? So, we're gonna go to the palace and find out where the treasure is then? Um... Huh? That's all for today? So I'm under the imp I'm under the impression we can visit the palace multiple times, well, up until the expulsion date, and um, you know, like go in one to kind of feel the place out, go in another day, and you know, get other stuff done. Anyway, we'll definitely go to the palace next time, and at least try and find out where the treasure is. So I'll see you guys then.